6.30 a.m. It's Tuesday morning in Palankaraya, Indonesia. The haze on the school run is not from traffic. It's the smoke from fires burning day after day. At times, visibility is cut to just 20 meters. Every minute in Indonesia, four football fields worth of forest is raised to the ground. In the peatlands of Borneo, it doesn't stop there. Carbon-rich peat fuels fire underground as well. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere, causing changes in the climate. Earth Report travels to Borneo's central Kalimantan to investigate the fallout from the fires and the scale of the disaster. Borneo is in the center of a cluster of islands that make up Indonesia. Suido Limin lives in the thick of it in central Kalimantan. Suido is an agronomist, an expert in peat forests. At 54, he's still hard-driven, single-minded. For the past 16 years, he's been running research projects, collecting data to support peat forest conservation. His work is internationally renowned. The Indonesian government granted him land to conduct his studies. But his research areas, his outdoor laboratories, are threatened by fires. Only two days ago, this area still green. Oh, very hot. But today, you can see all trees gone and also pit layer burn. The ground is treacherous. On peatland, underground fires penetrate as much as 60 centimeters beneath the surface. Pitless by this fire, more than 20 centimeters. On healthy, moist peatland, fire would only burn the top few centimeters. But dried out, the peat smolders for months on end, sometimes reigniting surface fires. This is look like no fire. <clears throat> but if we plow, go like this. Mm. Indonesia's peatland covers almost 23 million hectares. Already, almost 4 million hectares of this have been completely destroyed, and a further 12 million hectares are in need of restoration. This is pit. This, uh, this material comes from wood or vegetation. More than 50 percent from this carbon organic. If this barn will be released CO2, to the atmosphere. Here, like the this. peat is nine meters deep. Elsewhere, it can reach down to 20 meters. There's a lot more peat to burn. Across Southeast Asia, peat swamp forest is being logged and converted to oil palm, pulpwood trees, and other crop plantations. Destroying peat swamp forest releases up to 10 times more carbon dioxide than other. After the United States and China, carbon emissions from peatland drainage and fires help make Indonesia the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases. The question is, just how widespread is the problem of deforestation and peat degradation in Indonesia? Alu de Hong, a native of Borneo, agreed to take us back to his old workplace in the isolated backwaters of the Mantangai River. But reports from his old colleagues have been troubling. I heard that uh, fires now mushrooming surrounding the base camp and also along the river banks. So that's why it's quite risky to, to have this trip. Alu had set up a forest restoration project for Wetlands International. He left when the money all but ran out. He's been looking for funds to restart it and his prospects are good. I hope to see that damming system are still successful and also the planting activity is still very good condition and fire is getting decreased. Even in the time that he's been away, the land has changed. Upriver, 
Alu notices there are fewer timber mills operating. Mostly already closed down because law enforcement from the government is quite tight for the last two years and also becoming hardly for them to get the big logs anymore. Mostly, actually, they got it from illegally sources. Government and private patrols have had some success against illegal loggers here. But according to the World Resources Institute, more than 60% of Indonesia's logging is illegal. 